this is the first time a pile driver has broken the head of the one who delivered it. I'm Chris Wolf with the Wrestling Vlog who always tells it like it is. Damn! All I got were the two Crown Jewel Championship matches. And one of them was a coin flip. Good news is, since the Orton Owens match didn't happen, I didn't have to count it. Though, I was right about KO not caring about disqualification. Which brings me to the topic at hand. Did anyone know that the pile driver was a banned move in the WWE? I had no idea that for about 20 years, the only two who could use it were The Undertaker and Kane in their tombstone forms. But when Nick Aldis came out to talk to Cody Rhodes about why Owens wasn't at the arena, he said that KO used a pile driver on Orton. And that caused a fracture in RKO's skull. And he said that the move was banned for a reason. To which I replied, Wait, it was banned? <laughs> you see, I remember when a pile driver was a relatively standard move in pro wrestling. Hell, some of the greats, like Hall of Famers Paul Orndorff and Jerry Lawler, used that move as a finishing move. So many jobbers fell victim to the move back in the 80s and 90s. And when Undertaker and Kane came into the WWE, they made it look so easy. But then again, being nearly seven feet tall apiece may have had something to do with the ease. But apparently... The premature end of a megastar at the hands of, its, of it led to its banishment from the WWE. At 1997's SummerSlam, Stone Cold Steve Austin faced Owen Hart in a match. Hart did a reverse pile driver on Austin, and unlike how it was supposed to work, Austin's skull did hit the mat with considerable force. He was even paralyzed very briefly. He did finish the match, but he had to take two months off to recover, only two months, because, well, he was a big star and was prepping to win his first of six WWE championships the following WrestleMania. But the damage to his neck took its toll on Austin. In 1999, he actually had his neck bones fused in place, but it didn't work out. Austin was forced to retire from in-ring action after WrestleMania 19. And because of this, the WWE took its first steps toward, to a point, toning down the Attitude Era type of violence by a bang move altogether in 2000, except for the Brothers of Destruction, who were old hat with the move. Turns out that several other feds have banned the move as well. Mexican wrestlers can't use the move without getting immediately disqualified. Some British promotions even fine a wrestler who performs the pile driver. And of course, all mixed martial arts have that as an illegal move, including the UFC. They even say that the move is actually illegal in Tennessee, but we have no real proof of that. AEW? Yeah, it's fine. So why did Kevin Owens dust off the move four years after Undertaker's retirement? Truth be told, it seems like Owens is acting like he's had one too many power drivers in his career. To me, he unfortunately seems to be acting like a throttled-down version of Chris Benoit. Now, I'm not saying he's going to kill his family or himself or anything, but he does seem to be dead set on putting every wrestler he encounters in the hospital. And what sort of person without any cranial drama would do that? Now, to be fair, Owen seems to recognize that he has a problem. This is why he wanted to stay away after attacking both Orton and Cody Rhodes. Hell, he was even contemplating retirement, it seemed. But Owen wanted, uh, Orton wanted Owens in the ring at Crown Jewel. Orton should have known that Owens wasn't interested in a fair fight. He wanted to hurt Orton. And the following week, he did. Something's not quite right with KO these days. Maybe it's the fact that he hasn't held a title in a good while, and a WWE title in even longer. He calls himself a prize fighter after all. Where are his prizes?
Maybe he feels angry at Rhodes for giving him a title shot he didn't ask for because he was afraid of what that might unleash in him. Maybe just the thought of Roman Reigns returning as a face was a threat to him, and anyone who was close to Reigns, or close to those who were close to him, were a threat. And a threat to his way of life. The point is that he's hesitant to come to the ring, and when he does, he goes nuts. Now it'll probably be Rhodes and Owens for the title at War Games, but the question remains if Owens even cares about titles anymore. If he's forced into a corner one way or another, he'll come out with every move in the book and tossing out every rule in that book. Is Rhodes going to fall victim to another banned move? Will a KO driver put Rhodes on the shelf with Orton and Austin? And, um, does that mean they'll rename the digital version of the wrestling album, too? If you know, you know. I'm Chris Wall with the Wrestling Vlog, who always tells it like it is. Pray for peace, and I'll see you.